There's a third one. Is there another one? Is that one? Rock. Okay, I have three people standing on buttons. What happened? I'm not seeing anything. I feel like there'd be another button. Maybe up here? Mm, nope. Nope. Okay. Are they nothing? Oh, there's a, a person. Hey, buddy. The spirit traces runes in the air. You recognize the gesture. It's the same one you perform when gifting others with your blessing. Return the gesture and bless the spirit. Your blessing leaves you as a stream and returns to you as a river. You see through the woman's eyes. You feel the discomfort of a source collar as you tug at it. Then, a clatter and a shriek. A winged void woken has grasped you in its talons. It takes oh, no. you to the air as you flail impotently. Where do your strength for what comes next? The void woken continues its journey for hours, perhaps days. You watch as familiar land and sea pass under you until the creature slows. The talons open, first air and wind, then a thud. Blackness. Light. You peer through the fog to see two dwarves, eyes as black as coals. They are dragging you through grass and stone. Perfect bait. The master will be pleased, drones one of them. The blessing fades. The spirit's hands are stilled. She looks to the sky, searching, then lowers her head and flashes the tiniest of smiles. The silent spirit sways gently to and fro, an ephemeral lily in a peaceful breeze. No, I can't say save that one. Was that the buttons? No. Sorcerers. They they brought in sorcerers. I can't. I can't remember. I can't remember why. I can't remember who. All right, I think these guys are just filler. I don't think I'm learning anything. Back and forth, staring at nothing. That, that can't have been real. Those monsters bursting out from the ground. It was just a dream. It had to be a dream. Well, you're already dead, my friend. Dude, look at all this. this is, whoa. There's a big... Oh, I thought it was a big crab. Totally would have made another crab friend. There's a... Is that my ship? That's my ship. Oh... Okay, well, everyone group up. Let's uh, do things here while we can, I guess. Might want to do a point in the memory. I don't think there's anything else I wanted him to learn. Let's do a point in memory and, and one in strength. And we'll do... Keep going warfare. Let's do... Yeah, we're gonna do memory. And wits. And let's do... Dual wielding. And, uh... 
forget if there's something else I wanted to get here. Let's do finesse. Wasn't there a finesse thing I wanted to wear? There it is. That would allow us to do the Huntsman Treat, although we do have this Phoenix Dive, which seems to be okay. Oh, wait. And Intelligence. Do Aerothers. And Mr. Fane. I might do a memory point on him. I think we're getting we're maxed out. I don't think there's anything I want to give him. But better have it than or get it and have it available than not have it when I want it. Oh, I maxed out on summoning. Okay. That means I need to start getting into something else. Maybe Geo. See, I don't know it would be really good with a summoner. If I did Geo, I could start getting like a, a super crunchy with different stats. Hmm. Or I can go into Polymorph and get some even crazier stats. Hmm. Do I want to do Geo? What kind of books do we have for Geo right now? Poison. Store armor. Worms. Can't do that because he already has stuff. Those are fire. Yeah, I don't know what to give him. Hmm. I'm not sure what to do for him. Let's do Polymorph. And that way we can give him... Uh, could give him some more wits. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it Intelligence here. That way he's... Other spells are actually starting to do something. Sure. I don't know what this does. We'll take, take it. go down there maybe since I'm up here this just hmm maybe I want to go to oh there's a tele that doesn't look like a teleport it's not marked on the map as a teleport augmenter Wits and sneaking, huh? Of course. All right, I should do the nails. I will forget. Ingredients? Maybe? Maybe it's not an ingredient. Uh, 
Um, I could have swore I had more nails. Look at all these heads and stuff. All right, we'll eat those. Okay. I don't think I want to eat her leg. Your grip tightens around the blade's hilt. You never felt such rage. These freaks. They are tearing the world apart. They must not live. Rivalon must survive. Okay. That didn't do anything for me. Nails. Boom. Okay, Sibyl. Let's eat you some people parts. All right, let's eat her leg. A single name throbs across your brain. Verdas, Verdas, Verdas. He must escape. He cannot die here. He cannot. Okay. Um. From the dark. You stare up at the thin slivers of light visible between the floorboards. Shadows ripple across the slivers, accompanied by heavy footsteps. Magister footsteps. Wood creaks above your head. One of them has paused. Your breath catches in your throat as you wait for him to move along. But the hatch is suddenly yanked open. Light floods you, blinding and accusatory. You hear only one gruffly barked word before the hands seize you. Gotcha. That sucks. And here we go. As the dead man's flesh slides down your throat, you feel his consciousness enter yours. His memories are yours to experience. You are Finn. Your heart is heavy. You know too much. It's all too much. You met, you met him. Brackus? The bright light blinds you, then fades. You feel a tremendous power in your hands, but they are shaking so hard you can barely use them. Suddenly, you're on this very ship, crouched in a corner, hugging your knees. A figure approaches, an older woman. Her eyes are kind. She comes closer. She says she wants to talk. She reaches a hand toward you. You grasp it. The memories end. You are no longer Finn. You return to yourself with a jolt. Okay. Our intestines are not good. Don't eat those. They will poison you. All right, time to blast. See if there's any peoples. There's one. There was something in the ground back in the cave. They... The dwarf bangs his palm against his head. Damn it! I can't think. There's a cave. Remember. Okay. All right. I'm gonna go up there in a second. This ain't right. I was on duty in the cave. I was on patrol, and and I was alive. This ain't right. None of this is right. Maybe this is warning me that there's a cave somewhere that can take control of your people. Which would really suck. Alright. What is this about? Oh. A quest is here. Here lies Patrick, prophet. He perished in this place, predicting the downfall of Bracus Rex. Damn fool should have kept his mouth shut. Seems like these are here for a reason. These torches will not stay lit. What if I... The statue stands before you in silence. It reaches to the heavens, as if praying for release from its chains. What if I fire land? It won't do it. Whoa! I burned the grass to the ground. <laughs> of course, I don't have. I didn't give him geo skill, did I? Is 
Seville has a Geomancer skill. Can I do... Alright, I have a fireball. Everyone come down here. Fireball, do I have... Thing to drop... Oil on the ground? not looking like it I got a jar of honey oil okay oil do I have more Don't see any more oil. And there's no circuits function. Hmm. Yeah, I see no more oil. Who had... This. And then we can... Wait, those didn't light? That's lame. That was a bummer. I think I'm on the right track for that. I just don't know how to do it. Because I don't have any Geo spells. Oh, hey. Maybe that's what we use the oil barrels. Oh, hey, buddy. I found something. Found a thing, too. I'm going to pick this up. Look out, joke. Cursed oil. Ugh. Oops, wrong button. Okay. I'm gonna pick up a lot of these oil barrels and drop them up there and see what happens. Hopefully it's not going to get too heavy. Like that. <gasps> oh, that's the one I already found. All right, Sibyl, you come up here. Can't I move down? There it goes. All right. You pick this up. You pick this up. Eh. Can't. Fine. Okay. Um. Then we place oil. And it's a beal. And it's a beal. And it's a beal. Yes, I know. She's not going to be happy with it. But that's what we need to do. Junk. Hmm. 